Hey guys, welcome to another math lesson. Today we're going to talk about how to find the median in a frequency distribution table. So first of all, let's have a look at our data. And you can see all these numbers here uh, are in our data set. And we have a lot of uh, repetitions of the same numbers. So 3 has occurred 4 times. 4 has occurred 6 times and 5 has occurred 3 times. So if we were going to find the median, uh, we know the median position is n plus 1 over 2. And we can see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers. So 13 plus 1 over 2 which is 14 over 2 which is 7 so the seventh number from the beginning 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 this number here is our median okay so this is finding the median using our old method but what if we want to use a frequency distribution table so if you have seen our uh, tutorial on finding the mean in group data, you've already seen a frequency distribution table. So we're going to put the x values in our x column. So for x, we can see that x can be 3, 4, or 5. These are the possible values for our data. And the frequency is how many times this number occurs. So 3 occurs 4 times, 4 occurs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times, and 5 occurs 3 times. Okay, so in order to find the median, what we want is another column called the cumulative frequency. So CF represents cumulative frequency and basically the cumulative frequency is just the running total of the frequency column so if you have a look uh, the first row we have 4 for frequency so we're just going to copy that over to the cumulative frequency now the second row we have 6 for the frequency so what we're going to do is add the numbers together for all the frequencies until the second row. So we're going to add 4 and 6 together, 4 plus 6, which is 10. So that's the cumulative frequency, which is the total of frequencies up until this point from the beginning. So 4 plus 6 is 10. And then the cumulative frequency for this row here will be 4 plus 6 plus 3 because we're adding in all of the frequencies up until this point, which is 13. Okay, so once you have the cumulative frequency column completed, then what you can do is use the median position formula. which is n plus 1 over 2. Now the n is the same thing as the last number in the cumulative frequency column. So all you have to do is substitute the number 13 where n is. So 13 plus 1 over 2, which is 14 over 2, which is 7. So the median position is 7. So where is the median on our frequency distribution table? What you have to do is you're going to look at the cumulative frequency column and you're going to find the first number that is bigger than 7. So you can see this number is 4, so that's smaller than 7. And then this number here is 10, which is bigger than 7. 
So what that means is this second row here is our median. So this is our median. Okay, so let's try another example using a frequency distribution table. Okay, so let's have a look at this frequency distribution table. See if you can find the median uh, of this set of data. Uh, come back in 10 minutes when you're done. Okay, so we're now going to show you the answer. So the first thing you're going to have to do is find is to create a uh, new column called cumulative frequency which is the running total of the frequency column so we have 7 7 plus 9 is 16 16 plus 3 is 19 19 plus 20 is 39 so the median position is n plus 1 over 2 which is 39 plus 1 over 2 which is 40 over 2 which is 20th so you're gonna move down this cumulative frequency uh, column and you're gonna go to the first number that is bigger than or equal to 20 so going down we have 7, 16, 19 39 so 39 is bigger than 20 this number here 39 is bigger than or equal to 20 so what that means is uh, uh, 4 is our median so I bet you didn't predict that by looking at the frequency distribution table but that's what happens if you write out the numbers uh, in raw data form we, you would have seven ones you have two uh, nine twos three threes and you have twenty fours And since there are 39 numbers, we worked out that the median position is the 20th number from the beginning. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So the number 4 is the median. Okay, thanks for watching the tutorial on finding the median in a frequency distribution table. See you next time.